Hello everyone, welcome back. Are we ready for some purple hair with Color Soft? <laughs> so I did have a request, uh, I have a couple requests to use Derwent Color Soft, but one in particular was purple hair. Luckily, Derwent's Color Soft line had enough purples um, to pull this off. I was a little worried at first, but then after I kind of tested a few, I think I found a good combo. So we'll be using five colors. You're going to need your Blackberry C280, your Purple C250, Bright Purple C240, Pink Lavender C210, and Pale Lavender C230. I will have color cards out as well. Um, I honestly haven't decided if this is going to be a short or a long tutorial. <laughs> but we're going to start with the basics. So whether you're new to my hair series or you've watched the others, as always, you want a sharp pencil. So sharpen with whatever sharpener you have that'll get you a nice sharp lead. Uh, the color stuff do hold their point well, but they, um, they do break easily. Uh, so they're not like a poly where you can press hard and, uh, things, you know, stay in place. <laughs> It'll hold its point, but only if you don't press hard. And also because these are more of a layering pencil, we have to do a base coat. With some of my other pencils, you can get away with no base coat, but to pull off this color, we're going to want a base coat. And then also, lastly, if you're curious why there's a pink in there, if you've ever seen someone with purple hair in the sunlight, you'll notice it actually has a tinge of like pinkish color to it, and that's because, well, um, purple hair looks pinkish <laughs> in the sunlight. So we'll be adding some pink closer to her highlights. All right, so let's just dive in and give this a go. So I'm gonna start, I guess I should start on this side of her hair. I just wanna make sure my hand is out of your guys' way. Okay. So let's start with our pale lavender. And I'm going to do this section here that's coming off um, her little flower piece I guess we'll call it and I'm just doing a light layer of the pale lavender even where I know there will be highlights and that's because these color soft really need something to grip on to Polly's aren't uh, as needy <laughs> they don't need to buddy up these color softs I've noticed they they do better if they have something to grip and I am just using my usual Nina cardstock. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. It is a smooth cardstock, so if you're using something a little toothier, just keep that in mind. Your results will be slightly different. It's not like dramatic or anything, but paper does make a difference. All right, so now we're going to go in with our Blackberry, which is our darkest color and also our shadow. So. I want it to be dark in here. So right now I'm making just, see, cause there's a leaf right there. I think that's a leaf. It's gonna be a leaf now. On this one, I'm not flicking as much because I'm trying to just build my shadow. And her hair is really luscious and curly. So it's curling and twisting all over. So this will be a kind of a unique one to learn on in a good way. Uh, it'll teach you how to handle all those lovely luscious curls. All right, so I'm barely pulling that out. But this will be definitely our shadow. All right, now grab your purple. I'm overlapping my blackberry and then pulling it out further than my blackberry. Now this one, this 
part here in particular is not going to have as much highlights because it's obviously going to have a lot more shadow coming off her little flower headdress, I guess we should call it. Okay, now bright purple. Again, I'm overlapping all three and then just tugging it out a tiny bit further. And just get your pink lavender. We're going to add just a tiny bit near the tip, so I'm not overlapping my shadow areas with this one. And then, I will warn you, these are really dusty pencils. Just very lightly go in there with my purple lavender, or pale lavender, sorry, to soften anything. We have purple hair. I know, it doesn't look like much. <laughs> okay, so let's go back in with our Blackberry now. And I'm going to take this all the way down just to make it easier for you guys. But I want this shadow to show up. Now with these, you're going to need to turn your pencil a little more frequently than you would with a poly because they are still softer but they're not like Prismacolor soft. So let's get this. So right now I'm just getting the darkest areas of her hair only. But see how it's already dulling out my tip there. You can still get those clean strokes and everything. It's just a little bit, like I said, it's a little different of a pencil in so many ways when you're coloring with these. All right, so grab your purple. I'm going to gently put this here where we have a highlight. Because obviously we can't just have a highlight right there. Kind of have to gently ease it into the grouping, I guess would be the word. So again, I'm overlapping my Blackberry. I have to keep checking my cards and be like, right, is that the color? Because I'm so unfamiliar with these colors. Right, and then right here we've got some shadow, so we're going to... Start bringing some of those pieces out. And we're still doing the same flicking motion. It's just not as pronounced, but it's because these pieces we're working on right now are so teeny tiny. But I'm still pressing hard, flicking out, overlapping my Blackberry. This kind of helps soften the blackberry, but also just makes it more purple. Okay. I'm going to have purple dust all over my fingers. See, I already got some here on the paper. That's what the eraser is for. Okay, and I do want that. Okay, now let's grab our bright purple, which is like a pinkish purple. See, I'm not leave. I'm not making this an entire highlight because that would be like too much. Okay, now I'm overlapping my two colors we've already put down. Right here, I'm overlapping both. And then from here, I'm overlapping both. But I'm bringing it out. Because this is kind of like our primary purple. 
purple-ish color. I guess you could call it. This hair is kind of weird. It's curving in there. <laughs> so it's a little awkward. It's like blending with another one. Just remember, like, don't think about it too much. Cause that's what really, well, at least for me, that's what screws me up. I need to just not think about it and just flick away. The hardest part for me is I have to remember to explain why I'm flicking in one direction. I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make this that piece. All right, um, okay, grab your pink lavender. And on this one, remember, we just are touching the tips pretty much. I'm not overlapping all the other purples from the base down because I don't want it to come off too purplish pink. Oh, see. Already broke. It's a very delicate pencil, but like I said, it's a harder lead. It's not, not like a Prisma. I don't know how to explain these things. I just kind of joke that they're Derwent's first attempt at replacing Prisma. <laughs> okay. So it's looking a little too pink for me, um, especially because I want purple. So I'm going to go back in with my purple. <laughs> that makes it easy, right? And we're just going to add some more purple in just to cover up a little bit of the pinkish, you know, because that bright, um, bright purple is like a pinkish color, pinkish purple. And this is more of a true purple. But see, I can bring it out just a little bit further and darken a little bit more some of our base areas. Oops, while I go out of the lines. Just because I really want this to be purple and not purple pink. The pink is just there because, like I said, if you ever see or have looked at purple hair in the sunlight, it is most definitely pinkish. And we want some of that pink to come through, but not take over. Okay. Grab our pale lavender. Hope you don't mind the angle. I'm trying to do it so my hand is out of the way. All right, now we're just going again over and kind of softening the lines in between. Don't push hard though. Like if you have a habit of pushing hard, then please hold way back here because you don't want to blend the lines out. Like I, I still want to see the hair lines. I just want them softened. All right, we have purple. I know it's so hard to tell on this one, itty bitty little strand, but that's why we will tackle some more chunks of hair. In fact, let's do the top part here. Um, I might need to move this down on my board ever so slightly. Maybe <laughs> it's gonna be, an, no matter what, you gotta keep turning it, guys. Like there's no way to get around it. Um, all right, let's do our Blackberry. Okay, one thing to keep in mind with Derwent Color Soft, like their Prismacolor uh, friends, you will get uh, smudgies. So don't stick your hand right on it. Okay. So we're going to get right here. Because this is definitely a dark spot. 
I was going to do this whole thing in color soft, and then I tried to do the skin, and oh, oh, yeah, I don't like the color softs on skin. <laughs> it was not pretty. I was like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? Okay, so I want that dark there, and we're going to darken these little pieces. Oh, you know what? We totally skipped a step. Sorry. I'm so used to not base coating, but, um, yes, base coat with the color soft. So just lightly. I'm not pressing hard or anything. This is super light touch. And that is just because I need to give it to something to grip, but it also helps color or cover some of that white space. I do this sometimes. It just depends on the pencil, the hair, and honestly, the paper. And my mood sometimes. <laughs> There's a few factors. Okay, so now we are back on the right step. I guess I gotta put that there. Okay, so take your Blackberry. Again, very lightly. My hand is still in the way no matter what I do right there. If I turn it this way, the problem is this metal thing is now in my way. Can't ever seem to get my hand out of the way. It's just going to be a lot of movement. with our purple now. Make sure that's on camera. Again, we're overlapping the blackberry with purple. I think I definitely want to get that line. See, you can see the flicks a lot easier on um, this larger section. Okay. Grab your bright purple, the purplish pink color. Again, we are overlapping. And anytime you bring them out, never bring them out like. 100% even. pink lavender. I know they say it's pink lavender, but I'm not seeing much purple in there. Could just be my eyes though. We all see colors differently. It's funny, like what's, you know, uh, a blue-green to one person could just be a green to another. Same thing with red-violets. So on this one, again, we're doing more towards the tips of those than from the base. These do get dusty though. Dusty, dusty. All right, real quick, we're gonna go back in with our purple now. And again, from the base, I'm going to bring up that purple a little more. 
so I have a little bit of white space to cover. Leave her scalp line open, uh, right here, the part. Because obviously you'll be coloring that with your skin color, but if you don't want to, then you can just cover it up, I guess. But there's been some portraits where they don't even draw in the line. So I'm like, uh, I guess her heart or her hair parts from nowhere. Now with our pale lavender, just gently going in here in the middle. Okay. Looks more pinkish on my camera than it does in person. It's kind of weird. I wonder if it's the lighting. Maybe. <laughs> it is purple, though. <laughs> Trust me. It's purple as we're going to get with the color selection. Now, you could add some black uh, if you wanted to darken it up even more, but the blackberry, I personally think, is just fine. Okay, so let's get... Um, how much time do we have already? Okay, so let's go ahead and do like another curl down just so you guys can kind of get the gist of it and then I think I will let you guys take it from here you know from there okay so let's get out our blackberry nope lavender <laughs> oh my gosh uh, bad teaching like I said I it's such a bad habit because I don't usually base coat unless the pencil really needs it and this one does so it's like ah I need to move the color card up and then that will help me remember it. I guess we'll color in that one too. Now, Blackberry. So again, because her little crown thingy up here. Okay, so see here, this one. bigger area so it's a lot easier to get your flicks in there base coat that one so I'm gonna leave that be. I do want to add a little dark right here. purple out. And just remember overlap the blackberry. Mm 
They are very pretty colors, just an odd pencil. But you know, I, I have a few people I know that absolutely love the color soft, so don't totally discredit them. And I mean, like, look, we're making purple hair with them, so they got potential. I just, I haven't played with them as much. Um, and I really should. A couple of the color longs I did when I was learning how to use them, they, they turned out beautifully. It's just they require a lot more layers than I have patience for. So that's also, if you're not the layering type or you're just like, oh, I don't feel like blending and layering for days, then you might be kind of like me and not feel these pencils <laughs> as much. But if you do like to layer, these could be perfect for you. Just my word of advice to anyone new to color soft is do not use them thinking that they are like a Prismacolor because that's really where I set myself up for failure. I dove in using it like a Prisma and so that kind of screwed it up because I was like, okay, these are nothing like a Prisma. I can't just smush these. So yeah, just definitely don't go at it that way. <laughs> All right. So again, with the bright purple, this is one of the colors that overlaps the other ones. And then you can always go through and darken more with the blackberry if you want like a it really dark. Like I said, you know, when you're done with a section, if you're like, oh, that's too much pink, not enough purple, you go back through with your purple. I mean, hair takes a long time for a reason. You gotta sit there and fiddle with it. If you just leave it, you know, as is and don't keep adding more layers, it it just kind of, I don't know, looks flat. <laughs> hair is complex. Like, look at your hair in the mirror. Study it. You'll, you'll see what I mean. There's just so much to hair. We all have, like, these little dark areas. We have highlights. It's just all about, I guess, deciding how many layers and how far you want to go. My problem is, is I could sit here and do this all day, so like I could just keep flicking and flicking, but then I'm like, oh, I don't know if someone has that kind of time. But you will get better results the more you put into it. All right, so now take our pink lavender, and then just remember this is one that's only near the tips. Because if you start mixing too much pink down at the base, you're going to get too much pink at the base. <laughs> You're going to lose that purple. Because these do overlap pretty well, especially with their layering potential. So, Okay. And then our pale lavender. I keep wanting to call it grade lavender. Just very softly going in my highlight areas. This also helps tone down the pink a tiny bit. Kind of gray washes everything. Okay. Let's dust her off. Grab your purple once more. You may find you're breaking out the purple a lot and coming back in with this, um, but really it depends on how how deep of a purple color do you want. If you're okay with a more purpley pink, then you don't have to keep going back in with your purple and touching it up. I, however, want a purple. So yeah, I mean, you guys have the color combo, you have the technique, you can co like totally decide how purplish you want it.
Okay. I am going to go back in with some blackberry. Just for a couple of these really dark areas. Just want to add a little bit more shadow. This one, in my opinion, is dark enough. You don't really need a black, but if you want to, you can add it in. Um, there is a black in the color soft line. It's not too shabby. I really don't think you need it. Okay. Looks a little messy here because I kind of am overlapping, but let me pull you up so you can see the color a little better. All right, so we have our purple hair. Like I said, it's on my camera, it seems more pinkish, but I swear in person, this is some purple hair. <laughs> so it could be just the lighting. But um, I think what I'll do is I'll probably do the rest off camera um, and, you know, kind of sit in my zen place and keep coloring it, but perhaps I will come back and color the rest of this portrait with you guys. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you want me to color, like, the flowers and all that using my color soft. Uh, I definitely am going to use pan pastels for her skin, though. I just, yeah draw my limits. <laughs> I tried the skin already with these color softs and it was not a pretty sight. Mm -mm. So thank you guys so much. I hope this purple hair color uh, is fun for you and you enjoyed it. And definitely let me know if you want to see me color the whole thing uh, or the rest on camera. You know, I'll just come back after I've done my purple and pick up where I left off in part two. So Thank you. I can't remember who suggested the purple with color soft, but whoever did, thank you. You, I really do appreciate it. You've kind of forced me to use a pencil I haven't used in a long time, which is awesome. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and until next time, take care.